Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> this will be my last video on the swimming pool problem. But there's something that you may have learned but do not recognize the consequences. You read often in the newspapers about ice melting. Uh, our climate is warming up, ice will melt from the poles, and that's a very great danger because that will, the level of water in the oceans will rise. Almost all ice in the Arctic is floating. It's not on land. So you now know, if you have done this problem of my swimming pool, that when that ice melts, that the water level will not change. If that ice had rocks inside, well, then the water level, in principle, would even go down when the ice melts. Because you understand that now too, if you have watched my last demonstration. However, ice on the Antarctic region of the South Pole is on land, that's a continent, and if that melts, sure, it's not floating at all, then the sea levels in the world will increase. Now that we are talking about the poles, remember we discussed the vernal equinox on March 20. So on that day, the sun is in the plane of our equator. And everywhere on earth, the days, or let's put it this way, the sun will be 12 hours above the horizon and 12 hours below the horizon, if we ignore refraction in the atmosphere for now. The, if you go to the North Pole, the sun will be right at the horizon and will not set anymore until after September 20. So the sun will be remain above the horizon, day and night so to speak, although there is no night. It will slowly pile upwards every day a little higher and a little higher and by June 20 it will make a circle in the sky just like this which is about 23 and a half degrees above the horizon and then it will spiral down again and by September 20, 21 it will again have reached the horizon and then a few days after that, it will go below the horizon and there will be no sunlight on the North Pole for the next six months. And of course, on the South Pole, the situation is exactly reversed. But on March 20, both on the North Pole and the South Pole, the sun will be right at the horizon. So I thought it may give you <laughs> an even more interesting idea about the consequences of the fact that the axis of rotation of the Earth is not perpendicular to the orbital plane of the Earth around the Sun. If the angle were perpendicular, to the orbital plane, then there would be no seasons on Earth. Luckily, there are. Okay, have a nice day, take care, and we'll be friends.